This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Hello, oh, surprise, surprise, nice to see you on a day that isn't Sunday. Basically, my uploads kind of got screwed up, um, but it means that this week you get a bonus video, so hey. For everyone that gave me such good feedback on my last um, new in and vintage haul, I heard you guys, you wanted more fashion for me. As per usual, we won't be taking ourselves too seriously around here. So even if you miss the vlogs, we'll make it fun and I hope you get some inspiration out of it. I'm gonna hook my camera up to the tripod in a second and give you a proper clear look of what I'm wearing. But before I pop my jacket on, this is sort of the base layer of what I'm wearing today all black which is a bit of a depressing way to start this video actually but uh, I'm running into Manhattan I have a, a meeting and some errands to do I need to go to the bank that kind of stuff but anytime I'm going to Manhattan I do uh, like to make a bit of an effort I mean if you thought the faux leather leggings and the boots were the only statement I was going to be making today you thought wrong I've got a new vintage piece I'm going to show you I'm playing around with what background to do for these videos I think over here is good because there's sort of even light hopefully on my whole outfit. Say hello to my trench coat of dreams. I feel like I'm living my best Mulder and Scully X-Files life right now and I can't live without it. Randomly picked it up at a woke vintage. Also sorry for the like screeching in the background. It's actually branches hitting against my window that need to be chopped down and they make these really blood curdling screams occasionally. The nice thing about it is it's got sort of removable wool lining so it is actually quite a warm jacket. I just think things always look chicer when they're kind of like scraping off the ground a little bit. I did find a dupe which I'll leave below. I got them in November from Mango. The really nice thing about them is their straight leg and, and they go really seamlessly with my Vagabond lace-up boots. Uh, they just kind of look like one, which I like. The silk, the silk scrunchie from Etsy. I'm honestly living for the swoosh. I feel like I'm in the matrix or something. That is the waist cinched in for heading out. And yeah, wish me a good day, Manhattan folks. Another day, another outfit. A uh, bit of a kind of a cozy, cute vibe today. Um, I'm hanging out with Kyle and I actually love this outfit. I usually don't kind of wear this many textures. I don't know, they're kind of like, it's a bit random, but it almost reminds me of something my friend Jessica would wear. Anyone that follows Jessica Clements, what do you guys think? I think this is a very Jess outfit. Um, but I've been kind of digging out this little top from Summer a lot. It's an old one from Urban Outfitters. I don't know, I like it. It's got a bit of a Bridget Bardot style vibe to it. I feel like these slouchy type outfits that are kind of part sexy, part masculine are my favorites, but I'm gonna back up and show you the full thing. I know you're probably like crop tops. What are you thinking? It's still, you know, winter. But it's actually been surprisingly warm in the apartment and we've had the odd really nice warm day like today. And when you've got something like really woolly on top, you don't really feel cold if you get me. I don't know, it's weird. I've been wearing hardly any knitwear this winter and I've been wearing an unusual amount of crop tops so unfortunately you're seeing global warming through my fashion um but yeah you can obviously not have it off the shoulder I just kind of like like that cute look when I'm styling or whatever um also love this Etsy little snake chain I got um I can't attest to the quality yet because I only got it and I've only been wearing it for the last week, but so far it's holding up in the shower and everything like that. Also loving this laid back hair today. Um, on the bottom I have a vintage gold belt that I got off Poshmark. I love belt hunting on Poshmark. These also need to be taken up about an inch, but they're new from Awoke Vintage and I absolutely adore them. I actually pulled them for a shoot and I ended up keeping them. Cardigan is my well-loved, well-used Everlane one. So this should be available. Everything else has kind of either been in my closet for a little bit or vintage, but you know me, I come through with the dupes. I spend hours looking for good dupes and better value and the most affordable. Not gonna lie, this could be my favorite outfit, honestly, from the entire week, just cause it's something a little bit different to what I usually wear. Are we on the same wavelength about this outfit? Let me know. Fancy seeing you around here. Um, surprise, surprise, back with another, another outfit. We're going full New York today, all black, everything. Probably one of my favorite black t-shirts, honestly, in my closet, this Uniglo U one. Oh, I'm weak 
for Uniqlo U, especially the men's section. And they're almost the perfect t-shirts. Sometimes they don't sit flat, which kind of bothers me, but they're brilliant quality. Um, and a new pair of trousers that I picked up from and other stories. These are fresh out of the box. These were gifted from and other stories as sort of one of my monthly picks that I chose, but I'm so happy that I got them. Sun is shining outside. I'm wearing a t-shirt right now and I feel like spring is around the corner, my friends, but it's not quite here yet. So I'm gonna pop on this jacket and show you the full look and talk you through it. All right, my friends, this is the Situ all layered up um, with the Uniqlo U jacket men's section sold out ages ago i'm really sorry but i know cause do kind of similar styles but yeah this is a thicker version of that like shirt jacket i always wear but this one has kind of better pockets and it just is more winter appropriate vegan leather angela roy bag which by the way i know a lot of people get pissed off when people say like is vegan not just faux leather but a vegan bag actually goes further than just what it's like what the material is so obviously it's faux leather but um, glues and things like that can often come from animals. So I absolutely love the fit of these trousers on the top half. They're pretty high waisted. They are like, there's a little bit of bulk showing just because I have like the direct sunlight on me. And this had a bit of a kick flare to them, which means they kind of come down slim. And then from like the knee out, they start to broaden out again. So I was up for trying them. And honestly, I won't really know how they look until I look back at the footage maybe a case of another yet another pair of trousers being an inch or two too long let me show you everything with the bag full look on my feet i just have a fresh pair of adidas stan smiths which is always nice um these are actually like my favorite vibe of outfit to wear because i feel like i can run around in them do my bits but they're really comfortable really practical and um, but i still feel polished and you know, ready to seize the day. See you guys in the next outfit. I've been working from home today, so I really don't have a lot to say about this outfit. It's pretty self-explanatory, but we we going all casual. Anyone seen that TikTok? That's a TikTok reference. Anyway, I've just been working at home all day, so it's been a jeans and tank sort of no one to impress except for you guys and this is the most that i can muster up but you know we can't be dressing up every day but i still like this kind of look because it's still very clean we love a good basic on this channel um so it's just my mango like knitted tank uh, unfortunately it sold out ages ago and i haven't been able to find anything that's exact similar quality because it is kind of like a lovely knit fabric and my ripped jeans which are becoming progressively more ripped as time goes on because i keep like kneeling down and just ripping them to shreds i will say that these are quite big and i do find that levi's for number one that don't come up to my waist i'm sort of loose like this it isn't really the most flattering on me because my waist kind of gets lost, but it's still like a comfy home look. I need to run to the shop though, so I'm gonna show you how I style my Rachel Comey pullover. Um, hopefully the light isn't too bad, because today sucks, I'm not gonna lie. It's raining, it's been raining for two days straight. It's the kind of thing that I feel super cozy in. The nice thing about this Rachel Comey piece, it also has a really good hood, which not a lot of my clothes have for the rain so you know my heatless waves don't get ruined um but i can also style it kind of smart yeah it's just an easy one it really does feel like a higher end piece when i'm wearing it which is obviously what i'm looking for speaking from working from home this is pretty much the situation i'm on my laptop i've got my iced coffee i'm looking at all of the lovely clothes i'm going to wear for the rest of the week Right now on my screen, I actually have my boyfriend's Squarespace website. Even though Squarespace is one of our long-term sponsors and the sponsors of today's video, we obviously continue to use them because our photos look beautiful on there. And if you don't know already, or if you're suddenly in the need for a website lately, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to do all of that. It's a platform where you can just create any beautiful, clean looking professional website, whether it's a blog you wanna start writing or sharing some photos, 
or want to share a portfolio of work or even just start up something like an e-shop and become an entrepreneur like myself um, you can use Squarespace and I do have a special link it's squarespace.com slash Tarmer not only will that get you a 14-day trial if you use it or my code Tarmer at checkout you will get 10% off your future billing if after the trial you decide that you really like it and you want to push it live to the world cut to hopefully a more exciting day and a more exciting outfit girl you look cute in that sweater look i've had my coffee but i swear that's enough of the mess and down to business this is my look for today i've just kind of tucked my hair behind my ears because i kind of wrecked the front of my hair earlier and yeah another kind of very casual cozy winter look this is probably the first proper bit of knitwear um, I've worn all week. I'm already actually roasting in it, to be honest, but I'm just thinking it's now or never because spring is around the corner and um, this this knit is just too fabulous not to wear. Working locally around Bushwick today, I've got my favorite pair of Levi's on. The one with the little pocket and the shoulder pads, which you know I love. It just gives that little bit of structure and makes your waist look smaller. My least favorite part of doing these outfit videos is the bit where I have to be like, <laughs> Can you see my shoes? Can you see them? Can you see them? The thing I find with the most perfect pair of jeans that is so frustrating is I want them in every single wash, but they're vintage and they're very hard to find. I have a feeling these are like a 12 almost because they come right up to my belly button. Um, and that's the issue I'm having is just finding pairs that come uh, right on my narrowest part of my waist because when they come like a bit more mid-rise, it just doesn't do it for me. I haven't been wearing a lot of uh, makeup this week. I haven't just been arsed putting on like mascara and eyeliner, but I did kind of pop on just a little bit of eyeshadow today. And on my lips is the Glossier Matte Lipstick in Like, which I have on my cheeks as well, and that I wear almost every single day. And Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint is generally on my skin most days. But um, I really like this kind of rosy, rosy type face. Work bag, I'm gonna head over to my local coffee shop now. Just whacking on my trusty premium H&M coat, which I still get so many compliments on. I think it's the belt, it just makes it look way more high-end than it is. How do we feel about my commentary on like pieces of clothing I've had for ages? I, I don't wanna feel like I'm repeating myself um, about the pieces I love, but if you like the way that I'm talking through the outfits, um, let me know. I think we're gonna try and finish on a strong note here and do my outro while I have a slightly decent face on. So I'll see you for that normal New York City weekly vlog slot on Sunday. Until then, goodbye.